In this video you will learn does it make any sense to start learning programming at all if we have nowadays chat GPT and maybe AI will replace you soon. Under my previous video regarding chat GPT there were two types of comments. First of all people who are trying to learn programming, they are just beginners, they are really depressed regarding chat GPT and they don't know if it's really worth it to invest in programming now. Another group of people think that ChatGPT is simply a tool and it is not possible for AI to replace developers. And actually the second question is highly related to the first one. Because actually when we are saying AI will replace developers, we are not talking about a robot who will sit there instead of the human and do its job. We are talking about two possible use cases. Either we talk only about architects with a lot of knowledge who will use ChatGPT to tell it what to generate and they will orchestrate the whole project. Or we are talking about people who don't have any programming skills at all, but with the help of AI they can really produce something valuable for the company. The main point is here that AI won't just replace human, but all companies will cut costs in some way, because essentially we are getting money out of the company's business. And in any of these two cases we will just have less developers, so less jobs will be needed. Obviously these are all just speculations and nobody in the whole world knows how it will be in the future. But I can totally understand beginners now because all people are saying that there will be lots of changes and it will be for sure much more difficult to get a job and maybe we will need less developers. It is all true, the future will be different and nobody knows what will come. But here are some points from my point of view why you still might want to become a developer. First of all, not a lot of people are talking in internet that ChatGPT is a private company, which actually means first of all you don't see the code inside. Secondly, lots of companies nowadays forbid in their contracts to use external or not tested tools, which actually means you can't just throw the code from the company in some random place like maybe WhatsApp, Skype or in this case ChatGPT, which actually means company does not want to leak its code to the outside. Which actually means in your contract you have a line that you will be punished if your code will be leaked to the outside. And ChatGPT is external, not tested tool, which probably won't be allowed by a lot of companies around the world. My second important point is that a lot of people nowadays are going to programming because it is good paid, it is a safe job and you should not work outside in harsh conditions. Which actually means they are going there because it is comfortable and not only because they really want to do that. And I think you must really focus on this one if you really want to jump to programming world. So if you really want to work in this field, you really like programming, then I highly recommend you to invest your time and learn it. Because if you really like this field, like for example I do, then it doesn't make any sense to go and study another field that you might hate. You will work in the same field for a long time, which actually means you really must like what you are doing. And the last point here is that if you are a more advanced developer, it is much more difficult to replace you. If you are just a junior, then sure it might be that soon your job will be replaced. Which actually means you just need to progress faster and get to higher levels. In this case you will have some unique skill set or unique knowledge regarding some technologies where you can't be really replaced that fast. And after this we must adapt to the future that will come for us because even advanced developers nowadays will see and feel these changes. And actually if you are interested to know how ChatGPT can generate the whole feature inside React for us, make sure to check this video also.